you can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. Welcome to Monetize Your Mind with your host, Bob Bear, creator of the More Power to Publish Monetize Your Mind workshop. And welcome to Monetize Your Mind. I'm Pat Dewar. Special edition today, we're talking about, well, we've been talking about more power to publish. We've got more power, power to publish.com. Bob Bear mm -hmm. is the host, the creator of all of that. Bob, serial entrepreneur for the new people that are just watching us. Mm -hmm. We have been creating some training videos, haven't we? We have. Okay. And I want to talk, I know this time we, you had uh, an agenda to talk about mm -hmm. um, the next step in the process. Why don't you review real quick the first two steps and now and then the one that we're, we're going to work on this time. We're, we're on the fourth step. We're, so, on number th we're on number three. I'm an Aggie. I, th yeah. That's beyond my, my count. Okay, so what, but what? In the beginning, what we talked about was the fact that so many people have so much, not only in their mind, but they have so much that they've experienced. They have, they have wisdom. They have their own perspective of things. And all of that makes up your, your intellectual property. It's who you are. It's your DNA. It's what you know how to do. It's what you're an expert at. And that is really valuable. There is a friend of mine uh, told me that, I think it was the World Bank said that each person's intellectual property value averages around $730,000. Some people have a lot more than that. How do you get that value that you have out and express it to other people? And that's, that's one of the things we were talking about. Now, I've seen, I've been to a lot of conferences. I've yeah, seen a lot too. of teaching. You have. I've seen a lot of PowerPoint presentations. And most of the time, the people that are teaching on stage with PowerPoints, and especially when they're reading off the slide, they're not really digging into the value that they have inside of them. It's just a canned presentation. Right. And what we like to do is help people discover ways to find out what they have inside of them, what they're passionate about. When someone's passionate about something, when you have something that you love talking about, you have experience with, you've lived it you have something valuable to share to other people. And so often we like to help people, we like to give them advice and help them out, but there are ways to monetize that. There are ways, and sometimes, sometimes people value something that they pay for more than something that they get free. Well, no kidding. And the thing is, is that so often people don't really even realize the value of their own, if you want to call it intellectual property, or their, their purchased wisdom. Mm -hmm. They just don't value it because they think, oh, nobody would pay for that. But yet, we've seen people pay absurd amounts of money for just the littlest bits if it helps others get through the next level or to uh, get the point that you're really trying to bring to the table. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Have you ever noticed when you, when you give someone like a family member or a friend that you know really well, if you give them advice, and this might be advice from your area of expertise, you give them some really great advice, they know you too well. They don't usually accept it that much. But when it's a stranger and they have been introduced to you and they know you for the position that you hold, they know your knowledge, they've heard of you, and somebody's brought them to you and, and introduced them and said, hey, this is Pat. Pat Dewar, let me tell you about where he's been, what he's done, and let's ask him what he would suggest. Right. When you've been introduced that way, and often when it, you're a paid consultant, and they're paying you for that advice, if they follow it, if they listen, it'll be much more effective for them. That's why one of the ways of monetizing your mind is positioning yourself with the true identity you have and positioning yourself so that you can talk to other people, you can be in a position of authority and they will know that they should be listening to you. So positioning is one of the first steps of monetizing the knowledge that you have. 
And I know that as we as we go through this uh, today's show, mm -hmm. it really is we're going to be building on the positioning and building authority and influence and becoming a leader in the niche that you have authority in. But I know one of the things that you're going to get a lot out of is the what's what they call repurposing content. We've talked about creating content. We've talked about so many different things when it comes to uh, position yourself right. But today, we really want to get into the whole repurposing of your content. And yes. if in the next, I don't know, minute or so, what, what would you want to make sure that they stay tuned to watch and learn? Well, we talked about capturing content, not, not wasting your voice, but you can take the things that you say, you can say, take the things you say on the telephone and on the internet, and you can change them into a different form. You can create packages that have more value than the initial offering. You can take, uh, and we'll talk about this in the next segment, how you can take just simple conversations and turn them into advice that's not only sellable once, but that you can sell over and over again, that you can even license. And one of the things that you have to be really careful about or is to allow yourself to be creative to see that there are three, four, five, six ways to, um, to create uh, purposes or to create content for multiple purposes. Mm -hmm. In other words, whether it be the things that we're going to address are ways that you can actually get your information into the marketplace and then actually return uh, with uh, somebody paying you. Um, we're coming up on a break. We'll be right back. This is the, the <laughs> monetizing your mind. And I'm Pat Dewar. We'll be right back. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. Welcome back to Monetize Your Mind. Bob Bear's the host. I'm Patrick Dewar. We're really talking about repurposing content. We're giving you well, it, this is really a training video in a sense, though it's on TV in the DFW area in Houston. Uh, and normally I would be hosting the Business Spotlight, so I almost messed up on a minute ago. But I'm so thankful for you guys watching tonight because you're going to be learning about the ways to repurpose content. And then also, if you haven't been to Bob's More Power to Publish conference, he's got one if it's before May, what is it, 17th, 18th? 18th and 19th. 18th and 19th. In Irvine, California, uh, by all means, go to morepowertopublish.com. Get a seat at that conference. If you've got a book in you or you think you'd like to find out, is it possible? Bob, I know you say it is. It is. There are so many things that people can do, and it's a matter of knowledge on how to do it and a matter of inspiration to do it. It takes, it takes both the motivation and the knowledge. Have, have, I know some of our listeners have experienced somebody calling them on the telephone for advice. And when someone is asking you questions, when somebody really wants to find out something, for, I know that sometimes you say things that you feel like, where did that come from? I mean, sometimes I find myself saying statements that I'm thinking, wow, that's, that's, that's pretty good. I <laughs> wish I had time to write that down. Well, imagine that you're talking to someone on the telephone, and it's one of those long 30-minute conversations. You're at your best. You're really enthused about what you're talking about. You're giving this person one step after the other. Of, this is what you should do. Imagine if you were recording that conversation. And it's not that hard to do. A lot of times with clients, I'll have them call in on a conference line, and I'll tell them ahead of time, let's record this, and then I'll give you a link to the conversation in case you forget something. And I've never had anybody turn me down. They, they love that ability to go back and listen again to what we talked about. But when I take that information, when I take that recording, I can often transcribe it, put it in writing, and I don't have to say who I was talking to, but some of those salient points, some of the great information that you come up with while you're talking on the telephone can turn into a blog article. 
it can turn into a video that you film and you talk about and you teach the same thing. It can turn into a webinar where you're teaching those points in a webinar. And capturing those moments is really important in order for you to be able to repurpose it for another use. But the other thing that you're, you're telling people or encourage people to do is recognize one, the value and what comes out of their mouth because mm -hmm. people will pay you for what you have inside of your head. Mm -hmm. I mean, amazingly enough, if they're coming to you, there's a value. If a lot of people are coming to you, it means that you've established yourself as an authority somehow in mm -hmm. the minds of people around you, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And so yes. then to, to make sure that when you're talking to somebody, that those things are essentially captured. Because I know I've done it the same thing. I've listened, you know, I was talking to somebody and they started talking about the difference between, you know, Vimeo and YouTube and mm -hmm. some of these other things. And I literally went, oh my gosh. And I created an article out of the conversation, just like what you're talking about, that was used for distribution. So that's the thing you're talking about, mm -hmm. isn't it, Bob? Mm -hmm. So what are some other ways? One of the things that we like to do when we have someone, let's say we have a C-level executive that wants to write a book. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have time. He doesn't really know how to go about outlining it. He doesn't feel like he's a writer. He doesn't feel confident about creating a book. What we've discovered is when you have someone else interview you, just like you and I kind of do to each other, right. We will sit down with someone. I've sat down with a person and started asking them questions, either filming it or recording it. And when someone forgets that they're on camera, when they forget that there's a recorder on the table, and I start asking them more and more questions, they start remembering things. They'll tell me stories about, you know, I'll, I'll say, well, you know, that's interesting. Has, has that ever happened to you? And so they'll tell me a story about when it did happen to them. And as you get into the interview and you really get into that space, something begins to, to be created. They're very, they're very animated in telling you those stories. And they remember things and come up with things that when we go to take that interview and turn it into content for a book for that person, sometimes they read the book and they say, did I say that? And we say, <laughs> yeah, we've got the recording. <laughs> and there's just something about interaction with people that's important. And so that's, that's one of the ways if, if one of you that are listening want to get content and stories out, find somebody to interview you and record it. Sit down with someone and have them ask you questions over and over. And one, of course you have frequently asked questions that you get by email, people ask you, how about this, how about that? Another thing for you to consider is what are the questions that you know that people should be asking you? And when you're interviewing somebody or if they're interviewing you, have them ask you, well, well, what is it that people never think to ask you of, but they should be asking you? That's where you start drawing on some of that expertise that's bottled up inside of someone. Well, I I consider that to be one of the most valuable things. What is it that people should be asking you? You know, mm -hmm. when, when, when we're sitting here doing the show, we're trying to give you tools, tips, techniques that are going to give you um, ways to essentially extract that, I call it nine pound pearl. It's the thing you paid more than you expected to <laughs> and, and everybody else recognizes that you're the authority in that space. Well, if you go to morepowertopublish.com, go to Bob's conference in May or the one in December in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I mean, excuse me, October, November time frame in, in uh, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, you're gonna love what you see. You're gonna learn so much about all the things we're talking about. We'll be right back. This is Pat Dewar on more uh, Monetize Your Mind. you can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. Hi, welcome back to Monetize Your Mind. This is Pat Dewar. Bob Bear is the host and creator of the show, and we're talking about, well, creating, um, well, repurposing 
the content that you create. Bob? You know, Pat, one of the, one of the things that people need the most, what people want, is content. When we work with someone and they don't have a website, we're going to help them create a website. It's easy to make a beautiful website, put up some flash graphics, or it's easy to create something beautiful, but the missing part is the content. And people that have content, whatever your content is, if you have an area of expertise, that is what is valuable for you. And so you need to find ways to take your knowledge, your specialized knowledge, and get it out to the world. And sometimes it helps to have someone coach you and help you. Now, the conference we have, More Power to Publish, is apparently about how to publish a book. But I like to think of that as a metaphor. A metaphor of publishing a book is publishing any type of content. One of the important things in creating a book, publishing a book, is getting the information in a form that is both attractive to people and that keeps their attention. One of the things we do to do that is we assign a book coach. We help people format and formulate their knowledge, and then we have, we have editors if need be. We have ghostwriters if need be to take that verbal knowledge from an interview and put it into a form that people enjoy reading. One of the most important ways to do that is in the form of stories. People like stories, and it's important to, to catch their attention. I have a, a author that I like a lot that I read his books, and he begins every chapter with a story. And it can be late at night, I'll be sleepy, and I get to the end of a chapter, and I think, well, I'll just read the first paragraph, the next one, and see what it's about. And he traps me again. It's Max Lucado. He Love traps Max. me again, and I, I, I'm caught into the chapter, you know, <laughs> because I read the story and I have to hear the rest of it. You have stories. Everybody that's watching this has stories of what they've experienced in their life. And it's important to take those stories and incorporate them if you're a public speaker, if you're a writer, if you're writing a blog. Everything with content needs to have a story woven into it. Well, and then to, to capture the story, that's the thing. You know, whether it's video, podcasts, um, you know, the re-editing, all of those things are just components of catching and creating the content mm -hmm. you're talking about. And it, it's so funny because uh, I love Max. I love his, his material, and you're so right. The guy is incredible at creating, you know, stories. And I know that that uh, as I'll just tell you that for a lot of people, they don't value their own. Um, they, they just don't don't realize the value that's between their ears. And so often we sit there and we think, well, you know, there's there's kind of an unworthiness attitude, like I can't be all that. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, is that, you know, I think Max really told us the great story of one day in the garden, God created out of mud pie something amazing. And all the angels saw this amazing thing happen, and a creator created a creator. Mm -hmm. But we sit there today, when the angels see us, they go, <gasps> and they bow and they reverence. They value what's in us, but we don't. And we're creators, but so many times we get so busy with our day-to-day -day work, so busy with, with the mundane, that we stop creating. And one, one suggestion I would like to make for people to be more creative, schedule what I call thinking time. You have to find a time. Even if, even if you can only start out with a few hours, put it on your calendar. Put on your calendar an appointment for two or three hours just to go by yourself to Starbucks and sit and sip a cup of coffee and leave your, leave your iPhone in the car. It's really important to become creative to be able to unwind and get your mind off of the day-to-day -day things. Now, should they, are, are there some questions or some things that somebody could go through to begin to, to uh, I want to say, draw out of the vast riches within them that they're, during their thinking time? Is there a process or a system that you use? Yes, ab actually there is. In fact, 
as far as for writing, we have at, at our conference coming up in a couple of weeks, we have a lady who was a creative writing professor. And she's going to take us all through a workshop on actualizing and activating the writer within. Mm -hmm. And you can do that with speaking. There are people that are very good. In fact, we'll have someone there too that will show us how to activate our, our natural speaking abilities. And so many skill sets are tied up within us that we can activate if we just are taught how to do it. Well, that's, that's the thing that's so important, is actually to take action. Anybody can collect information. Anybody can collect information. But information without any action is just a dream. Morepowertopublish.com. You want to go to that. It's coming up soon. This is Pat Dewar on Monetizing Your Mind, giving you tools to help you. We'll be right back. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. Welcome back to Monetize Your Mind. Today, we're talking about, well, repurposing content. After you've created it, after you've began to build your authority in a, in a niche, in, a, in an area, how do you begin to, dis, in a sense, create platforms for that information to go out? Bob Bears, the host and creator. Thank you so much, Bob. Now, we've got a con more power to publish conference about coming ten, up. About 10 days from now. 10 days. Yeah. And I know that you've got some pretty amazing speakers lined up, don't you? We do. We do. And that's what's exciting to me because people need to have a mentor, have a teacher, have somebody else that can share with them to activate what they have within them. I find it really helpful. And I've discovered that some of the, the sharpest, smartest people, the top income producers in the world, have mentors that they continue to learn from. But you're going to do this conference very different. I've been to lots of conferences, and honestly, I don't know. If you've been to a conference, you probably know the experience. It's called a pitch fest. This is nothing like that. It's a content fest, isn't it? This is sharing, and it is experts sharing. In some cases, we'll be interviewing them. In other cases, we'll be letting them do a workshop to actually show us step by step how to do things in creating. So there's no, they're not going to hold anything back. They're actually going to roll out some a lot of information yes. of exactly what to do. Yes. So anybody that there that's there is going to walk away with an enormous value mm -hmm. right from the experience. Mm -hmm. But also the invitation, I'm sure, to, to continue the dialogue with people like uh, who you're going to have there, right? And the different types of people that will be there and that they'll be there in between breaks and on lunch that people can interact with and share with. We'll have hot seats. We'll have question and answer periods. We'll have panels of experts, but these are people in various ways that will be teaching us in different areas how to repurpose, how to monetize in, in a variety of subjects. I think we have a few pictures that, yeah. that we can show some of the speakers, and I'll just tell you who they are. This is R.V. Robinson. R.V. Robinson is a master at helping people learn how to speak with more confidence. And she not only teaches how to speak, but she teaches how to use you're speaking in a way to market yourself, which is hard for some people to do. Um, this is Bruce Kars. Bruce Kars is an expert on teaching how to tell stories. He works with a number of Academy Award winning actors, and the story that he helps them create is their own story. That's how they become Academy Award winners, is because he helps them frame their own personal story in such a way that people want to hear it. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Mel Cutler. One of the things he's going to teach us at the conference is on meetup groups. You've heard about meetup groups. Mm -hmm. You've seen meetup groups. They're fun. But how do you monetize a meetup group? How do you take a meetup group, start with it if you're an author, form it around the subject of your book so that people become interested in your book as you develop it? And then how do you monetize that meetup group and turn it into an income stream? Let's see, Michael Levine. Michael Levine is a public relations person to the celebrities. He's worked with Michael 
Jackson, with uh, Suzanne Summers, and he'll be talking to us about how to market yourself as a celebrity, how to get, people, how to get people's attention, and sometimes you have to get their attention. Let's see, Richard Krawcheck is an expert in branding, and people think of branding as a product, but what an author needs to realize, or a person that's creating content from their mind needs to realize, is that they are the brand. They are the product. And Richard will be teaching us and taking us through a workshop on how to think of yourself as a brand. Think of yourself as the product. This is Sadaka, Sakata. Sakata is a creative writing professor who is going to help us, the workshop I mentioned, help us activate our writing skills help us learn ways how when you have writer's block, how to get past it, how to let information flow out of you. And let's see, one more. Ursula Menchez is someone who is a best-selling author two times. She created two book launches that took her books to bestseller status, and she is going to be sharing with us step by step what she did and what the people at the conference can do to make either their book or their business a bestseller. So that's the type of people that we have there, people that have already done it, and I've asked them to share with us the bottom line stuff. You know, enough, enough of the, the uh, fluff. The fluff. Let's, let's, yeah, get, let's, let's get the facts. Let's get let's, to the facts. Yeah, let's, let's get, get to the, the, facts the action steps. Get the action steps. Yeah. The content that actually will create a value for them. Now they should go to morepowertopublish.com. What's the experience when they do? Morepowertopublish.com. If it's before the conference, it will tell about what's coming up in the conference. And then after the conference is over, it will be telling how to get the download, how to watch these speakers online, how to find out what happened there. And then as we come up on the next conference in another city, we'll put the information back up there too. But morepowertopublish.com is where we'll be constantly renewing and adding to what's happening next. That is awesome. Folks, you need to get to morepowertopublish.com if you have a, a story that you want to uh, told. One of the things that so many people need to realize is that the, the value of the riches that you've paid such a high price for is beyond words and can change lives around you. I hope that you'll go to morepowertopublish.com this is Pat Dewar, Bob Bear, monetizing your mind. We'll, be, we'll see you next time.